Here is the final prompt, the details, almost flawless. Get ready for this amazing trick. Today, I'm gonna show you a prompt generator that will massively improve any prompt 10X. And it could be the most basic and generic prompt. It's gonna go from this to this. All you have to do is use this prompt generator I'm sharing with you today, and then just simply follow the basic steps. But make sure you stick around because this is so fire. Because you are not gonna wanna miss what we do in ChatGPT after we use this prompt generator. This prompt generator I'm sharing today is available in fact, any prompt Eric shares in his videos are always available via the links in the description. So to start, let's go ahead and look at some prompts that people typically use. You know, very basic prompts. It's going to have your subject, the description, and it's going to have some adjectives. But what it's missing are going to be some of those very unique keywords. Keywords do have a big impact when it comes to your prompts and even some hidden tips and tricks. However, what we're going to actually do is use this prompt generator to take your prompt from looking like a completely basic and generic one to super 10x style prompts. This is a meta prompt, which means it could be used for anything. Okay, so here we are in my prompt generators database. Now, this may just be the most valuable database around because it's not just simple prompts. These are actually prompts that generate prompts. Sometimes I dream about prompts. Now, a meta prompt in my database refers to a prompt that can be used for anything. For the most amazing prompts databases with lifetime access and nonstop updates, check the links in the description. And it's going to be this very first one right here. The reason why I love this one so much is because it follows the template precisely on one of the best prompting methods that OpenAI's president actually recommended. We're going to go ahead and copy the whole entire thing just like this, but it basically starts out with, since you are actually ChatGPT and you know your skills and limitations, we're basically preparing ChatGPT to generate the best possible prompts based off of ChatGPT's own knowledge and prompt preferences. Let's go ahead and paste this whole entire prompt in. And now there it is. That is all you have to do to start, okay? Go ahead and submit this. Now watch what this is gonna do. I am your super teacher and advisor. It's gonna assess my prompt deeply, inspect its true purpose, and then craft an elite level upgrade, fully optimized for chat GPT prompt adherence. That is the key thing about this specific prompt. Now we're gonna do this in real time, but first let me show you what this did for me a little bit earlier when I wanted to get some amazing prompts for AI video. Look at this right here. Now I basically said this was my original prompt. Now this was a pretty good prompt I had, okay? Now again, I wanted a music video style prompt and I provided my subject, okay? So that is my basic prompt in the beginning. As I scroll down and after chat, GPT really did do a deep dive and assessed everything. This was the final prompt I got. And let me tell you something, it did a phenomenal job. Now, there's two key details you definitely want to pay attention to. When ChatGPT gives you the final prompt, like this big long one right here, you can do two things with it. Now, for one, if you're using it for AI video, do keep in mind that AI video prompts tend to do better when they're not as long, shorter, precise and to the point, but with specific keywords. Okay, so you can see that's the full prompt I got, but then it takes things a step further, which we'll actually try in real time, where you can actually 10X every single thing. Now on this chat, I went even further, and I said things like, now turn this prompt into an FPV POV version for my video, and then it gave me this right here amazing job. Now, the key thing is the going back and forth in the chat, you're going to end up getting an unlimited amounts of 10x style prompts. But like I did say, I do want to try this in real time. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in just a basic prompt. And now remember, it doesn't have to be for AI images. It could be for content writing or whatever you want. But what I'll do is I will do one for video because I know video is so popular right now. We're going to do this. I'm going to make this prompt as basic as possible. Let's see how much chat GPT can actually improve it. And I just said POV, action packed car chase of a black and orange McLaren. Okay. This is for AI video. Okay. That way let's see if chat GPT can notice the difference and say, okay, it's going to be for a video. Let me go ahead and add some key elements to it. Now look at this right away. I now understand the use case AI video generation, the style, 
and my subject, okay? Now, it actually lays out the foundation on how it is going to 10X it. This is what I love about it, because look at this. First, your original prompt is strong. Well, that's kind of you, it's really not, but it is missing key ingredients. That chat GPT and AI video tools respond much better to for high fidelity output. That is what is so impressive about this prompt. Remember, one of the first things chat GPT did mention, that most important keyword element, prompt adherence. That is a very crucial part. We wanna make sure our prompt matches the subject and our need, okay? Look at this beautifulness. Now, let me show you why this is gonna be so important. And the reason why ChatGPT did such a good job assessing what I needed, because it understood this was an AI video prompt, so it kept my POV style. It included cinematic, some very key adjectives, very good. It actually provided the movement of the subject, but look at this, this is gonna be the most important part in generating AI video prompts. You always want to make sure that you mention the camera's specific movement, and it does just that. The camera movement mimics a first-person view from a drone weaving between skyscrapers. And so to be fair, just to wrap it up, I do want to show you that it could be used in a multitude of ways. That's why it is a meta prompt. Now, what I'll say down here below is just this. Here's my basic prompt. Create five social media posts for X, aka Twitter, about the emergence of AI. Here's my assessment. Here is the rewriting of my prompt where it says, now we're going to get the best chat GPT optimized version of your prompt in full paragraph form. That is the full upgraded 10X prompt. We're going to copy this. Why this version is superior, it gives us the reasons why. Now, here's a full example based on your original intent. If you hadn't specified tone. Look at this. Five tweets about the emergence of AI. Amazing job. Five more. Follow-up questions to improve even further. Okay? So again, it's what you do after the prompt. So for an example, my first one for AI video, if I go back down, you could see there is the elite level one I got. Again, it gives me the reasons why. It gives me the example. But now look at this. It is going to be the follow-up questions to enhance it even further. Now again, the first portion is impressive, but it is the follow-up. And that is where you can come in here and you can basically say that. Okay, so for an example, environment choice. Let me just show you what happens if I answer each one of these questions and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Now, this is where things go to a very high level. You can see right here, this is gonna be the answers to the questions, okay? This time, I want mountain roads, the born identity style. I want the car to be drifting with a thunderstorm and the purpose is escaping enemies. Now watch this. Once I submit this, look at this right here. It is gonna give me all of this amazing 10X information with the final optimized AI video prompt giving me such a great prompt that is going to produce amazing A, AI videos, the main purpose of my prompt, but I'm also going to double dip and use this to generate images. Here is the final prompt, the details, almost flawless. And again, more follow-up expansion options if you want to enhance even more later. So there you have it, an amazing meta prompt generator that I highly recommend you definitely save and use. And let me know in the comments below on what sort of creations you were able to make or improve. And again, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button because it helps so much. But until then, I'll see you next time.